And just to kick off this particular bulletin, in the aftermath of the High Court ruling that the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC, should use the manual register in the coming elections, the Commission now says the ruling is likely to slow down preparations for the polls. The Commission's Chair, Wafula Chebukati, is expected to make a statement on the way forward, even as the training of the presiding officers and clerks to conduct the exercise at the various polling centers continues. Here is that particular story in detail. The High Court decision on Thursday that ordered the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IABC, to employ the use of manual register in the coming elections has been received with mixed reactions by the electoral body. IABC has complained the decision by Judge Mugure Thande has a negative effect on its preparations for days to the polls. Some of the court cases came a bit too late in the day. And so now, some ballot papers have not arrived and they will arrive tomorrow and that now makes us uh, a bit jittery that when they arrive tomorrow we have to fast track those and take them uh, uh, to their various stations. The training for the IABC officials, including the presiding officers and polling clerks, is currently ongoing across the country, and IABC Commissioner Justice Nyangaya says the Thursday ruling will slow down the exercise. But as far as the court uh, orders are concerned, ladies and gentlemen, you will agree with me that it is rather disruptive. Because right now we are training our own polling staffs on uh, a line that we had agreed on. And now when something comes up and takes away or adds, we have to regroup and train our people again. And this uh, really is not the way that uh, we were hoping some of these things would go. In her ruling, Judge Mugure Than defaulted the decision by the electoral body to rely only on electronic register, arguing that the decision is dangerous and might infringe on the rights of Kenyans to participate in elections in case of electronic failure. However, IEBC in a rejoinder says all necessary measures have been undertaken to ensure the electronic system does not fail, assuring Kenyans that the security of data transmitted through the system is taken seriously to guarantee the nation tamper-proof result transmission. Where the Kim's kit malfunctions during identification or results transmission, the presiding officers are required to notify the returning officers of the incidences and request for a replacement kit, which is to be documented in the polling station diary as a quality control measure. IABC Chair Wafula Chebukati is expected to issue a comprehensive report on the latest decision by the High Court as preparations for next week national polls continue in earnest. Henry Tende, Lookup TV.